Hi guys, Legend Kimsey here, and welcome to another episode of Soapbox Tuesdays. It's episode six. I haven't done one for donkey years, really. I I'm gonna try and sell you some excuses, but I've just been busy at work. It's coming up to Christmas, uh, getting the next gen consoles, you know. And I really I do it because I enjoy doing it, and I didn't really have anything I really wanted to rant about. I suppose that's the main thing. Um, so I decided, and then I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty. Like I've got a brand, a brand new clan. They're called Legendary Lions. You should check them out. I've been playing with a lot of the guys down there, and having a lot of uh, good games and stuff. So hopefully, bringing some Call of Duty uh, footage very soon. Um, but that's kind of where the topic of this one goes with Call of Duty. Um, that it, it's a bit of a joke. You know, I've been a hardcore. COD fan for years now. I, when I first got my Xbox, I got COD 4, and I bought one every single year. And they're they're a fucking joke, really. Um, the amount of money that they're getting paid, and the amount of money that they're taking off us, and you know, and I will still buy it. I say it as if like that's me done. I'll still buy it because it's a social thing for me, and I enjoy playing it with people. But you know, they they're still making a piss poor game. They get a lot of feedback, you know. They get a lot of uh, comments from people about what they want to see in the games, what they don't want to see in the games, how to do it. And they are lazy, lazy bastards that they can produce a game and put it on the shelves for us to buy um, on current gen and then next gen as well. And they go, all right, okay, you've bought it once. How about you buy it on the next one again and we'll charge you more. Um, but you know, they're they're a joke. They really are, and it's it's beginning to get a little bit tedious. The fact that it's the same old, same old, like and. I bought Battlefield 3 when that came out. Um, it came out at the same time as like Modern Warfare 3, and I enjoyed it. It, it wasn't my favourite game, but I really enjoyed it. It was something new, something different. And then you take two years down the line to Battlefield 4, and it's just even better again. And it's got so much guns, so many guns, sorry, and it's got so much going for it with the vehicles, the gameplay, and now it's 60 frames per second on next gen. Um, you know, they're really beginning to push Call of Duty. Now, Call of Duty will always have a fan base, and it will always get and the support that it needs and at the end of the day you know infinity or whoever's making it that year and that's the fucking frustrating thing is it's just oh yeah so it's this year the next year the, you know put some fucking effort in it please like you know you you're you're paid to do your job and you're doing a piss poor job at it you've got to sort it out you've got to got to sort it out it's just it's getting getting a bit ridiculous and i'm not saying battlefield's perfect but you know at least each year the the engine gets better and the gameplay gets better and if something is shit they'll take it out but Call of Duty are just thinking right now no we've used the same engine for a while so we'll just reskin it we'll put some new guns in there we'll whack a few kill streaks in there and a few uh, little things I mean still getting shot round corners still uh, walls are apparently penetrable by a pistol yet when you fucking you know when you stand behind a tree it's the most indestructible tree in the world you know the 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 I find like the environment is just bollocks. It really is bollocks. Like, and when they tried to sell us that they had this whole um, that they had levolution on the scale of Battlefield, it's a fucking joke. Don't even compare it to Battlefield. What you can drop a gas station? Wow, that's fucking massive. How about dropping a fucking building in Battlefield? You have no idea, Infinity Ward. Really don't. Um, but yeah, I guess that's about it for today's one. Uh, I'm going to start doing this more because it, it, it's actually quite nice getting it out, getting out there in the open and saying it to you guys. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, just to, to finish on a lighter note, I've decided I think I'm going to finish at the end so I don't always feel like I'm just ah. Like I think um, if for anybody you over in the states and stuff like that, uh, you should check out. You, I don't know if you have I'm a Celebrity, but we just had the final here. I just wanted to say the guy who won it, Kian from Westlife absolute ledge hero that is what our role models should be like nowadays you know not footballers or sports people and stuff like that he is a down-to-earth normal lovely lovely guy and that sounds like that i love him to bits i think he's wicked i do love him to bits but just as an enlightened note you know you should check out some footage of him or check out any interviews with him because he is a, a genuine top top guy um so yeah, that's where I know that's quite random, but there we go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. See you later. Bye-bye.